Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is New Year's Eve, Saturday the 31st of December 2022 and today I am on my way home from Derby but not without making a stop off in South Yorkshire for Parkgate versus Ollerton Town in the Northern Counties East League First Division. So I'm in Sheffield and uh, I've got a bit of a situation because uh, it turns out the game at Parkgate is actually off. However, uh, Johnfield Town are saying that their game against uh, Nostal Miners Welfare is still going ahead. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn back and head back into Derbyshire. So after being turned around in Sheffield, here I am in uh, Johnfield and this is still a game in the uh, Northern Counties East League uh, Division 1 so uh, regardless I'm seeing a game in the same league as I was intending to anyway. Uh, for all my uh, regular viewers of the channel that maybe aren't too sure what level this is, this is the equivalent of Northern League Division 2, uh, the equivalent of Northern League Division 1 is the uh, Northern Counties East League Premier Division. Uh, but uh, going into this game, it is as mid-table as it gets, really. Uh, John Field currently sitting 10th in the table. Uh, Nostal currently sitting 13th in the table. Uh, neither team really, uh, like, with a realistic chance of uh, getting in the playoffs, but neither team uh, are particularly likely to uh, get relegated either. So, uh, so yeah, uh, but... Uh, what is really good about this game state is that it is uh, free entry, so uh, big ups to uh, John Field on that. I really hope they can uh, reap some kind of reward with that, especially in these difficult financial times. Uh, just giving people the opportunity to uh, come out and watch uh, a, g a game of football, it really has to be respected. And I hope that uh, they can make uh, like they, they can make a bit of money at, at the bar and uh, with food sales, programme sales and uh, what have you just to uh, sort of make up, f up for that and uh, yeah it's in a, in a, and they get a attendance that they can be really proud of so uh, so they're looking forward to this it's uh, something a bit different of course it's not where I was expect expecting to be today but uh, it's where I am uh, but let's head on down to the stone low playing fields I think I've said that right and find out how it all unfolds here we are then, a new one off the list, uh, in any other year, maybe would have just been happy to uh, let it slide and just go home, but uh, 2022 hasn't been an ordinary year and it deserves a proper send off, so let's go in. So uh, John Field are just getting warmed up on a field uh, back there, it looks like they're going to be in a red and black kit this afternoon. Uh, I imagine a Nostal will probably be told to uh, go out and uh, warm up on that field as well, just to preserve the pitch. Because, uh, like, I mean, they've got the game on and uh, kudos to them for that. But uh, you'd imagine throughout the game it is going to cut up quite a lot, so they're probably just going to need to preserve it until then. Yeah, current teams are uh, Nostal, mine as well, uh, are going to be in all blue this afternoon. Uh, normally, I think they'd be maybe yellow and black, I'm not sure. And for the final time in 2022, we are underway. Go 
Oh, what a goal! Half-time, John Field Town 2, Nostal Miners Welfare 1. Uh, Nostal actually started the game really well. It was very tough for uh, John Field to get the ball. And that early pressure told, obviously, I think we're basically the first proper attack of the game. Uh, they've gone and uh, put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, but uh, since then, uh, uh, John Field have uh, gradually grown and grown into the game. And uh, if it carries on like this, you'd expect that they're going to go on and win uh, relatively comfortably uh, I mean the, the Nostel players weren't too happy about the way the equaliser was awarded I think they should have had a foul awarded in their favour but uh, it, was, it was good strong play by the attacker then obviously he's uh, gone and uh, slotted it under the goalkeeper and then second one uh, really good strike from uh, outside the box and uh, could have had a couple more um, but it's, it's not to be and uh, Nostel still do remain in the game but I think if uh, Drumfield uh, can score in the first 10 15 minutes of the second half. That should just about kill the game off, but we'll wait and see. Up. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Well, it might wrap it up, it might not. I was just chatting gibberish, really, wasn't I? Anyway, it's 3 1. <laughs> Ooh. Chance, oh, good save. <laughs> oh, that is unlucky, man. That is unlucky. Oh, unlucky. Oh, he's in. He's in. There we go. That's the end. Full time, John Field Town 4, Nostel Miners Welfare 1. In the end, uh, 2022 is rounded off with a fairly comfortable home win. And uh, yeah, there were, there were a good value for it this afternoon. Uh, John Field, uh, as I said at half time, they obviously got off to a pretty slow start. But other than that, uh, they were uh, very good this afternoon. Uh, basically, bossed the game from uh, going 1 0 down right through until. Uh, the final whistle and uh, yeah they could have had uh, maybe a couple more in the second half uh, they were denied by a good save from the Nostal Miners welfare goalkeeper I must give uh, quite a lot of respect to uh, who obviously uh, took a took quite a hefty hit it seems in the first half who didn't look 
all that comfortable for the rest of the first half and the start of the second half, but he uh, still carried on playing and uh, obviously uh, got through the, the full 90, so a uh, fair play swim on that when he could have so easily have just uh, uh, gone off. Um, and after that, uh, they had one that hit the post, one that went wide, so the, yeah, the, it can be absolutely no complaints from anyone about that final score this afternoon and uh, what over 200 over 200 people there which for uh, the 10th tier of English football is really good I uh, know it was obviously free, en free entry but uh, hopefully uh, as I said before I went to the ground uh, John Field made a fair a fair profit on uh, on the catering sales uh, drink sales uh, programs uh, I, know, I know there was quite a few growing up as that got there a bit late and uh, unfortunately missed out one and uh, uh, but uh, John Phil were more than happy to uh, take details and uh, send him a new one in the post so uh, well done to him on that I mean I had a situation like that once at uh, Brand United where I couldn't get one but uh, they took my details and sent me one so that's what's great about non-league it's very it's very communal and uh, clubs at this sort of level especially uh, like really do like to uh, welcome and look after the people that visit them but that is that for this video and that is that for 2022 uh, just like to thank you all so much for your amazing support for this channel this year we've got through a hell of a lot uh, Gates said winning the league uh, overseas trips to uh, Switzerland and the US uh, just, uh, we've been through so much um, and uh, 2023 is going to be a great year for the channel I'm really looking forward to it and I'll be back on Monday for the first game of 2023 it is Gateshead versus York City so uh, yeah massive game for both sides York out for revenge after Boxing Day we want to uh, see if we can get ourselves out of the relegation zone so big one but one to look forward to until then take care and I'll see you later Happy New Year everyone